It's the Stephanie Miller Show. Welcome back to the third hour of the Stephanie Miller Show. I'm Frances Callier. And I'm Angela V. Shelfer. And we are Frangela. And Mom and the Mooks are on vacation. And we are here filling in. Mm -hmm. That's right. It is six minutes past the hour. You can reach us here at 323-468-1135. We are joined in the studio right now by the incredible, amazing, and I mean just incredible, Adam Contras. Oh. He is the first and longest running video blogger in this country. Oh. World. The world. The world. The Don't world. take away his world. Didn't even have a name when I started. They didn't. Bam. I mean, you I mean, you've been going at it. Let me tell you something. I it, Adam is amazing. Can I just say the little the, the uh, side note, but it's not a side note of the thing that there's a couple of amazing things about Adam oh in his God. life. Okay. I'm not gonna Maddie. stop you. First of all, besides being incredibly politically informed, okay, and if you're not Whoa. following him, you should be, and I'll give you that information in a second. So, uh, secondly, he has a mini golf course in the backyard of his home that you, you built by hand. I did. That is incredible. I guess. It's called I Gave Up on Life. <laughs> and I started building stuff in my backyard, and it turned into a mini golf course. Well, I love Adam when he first walked in here into the studio in Mama's house in her basement. Says first words out of his mouth were, "I made some wrong. Uh, we all made some wrong choices. But this is a really nice house." <laughs> this wasn't what radio gave me. <laughs> Oh, dang, but you have an amazing house. Yes, yes, and and you also have what? An actual oh, the DeLorean time machine. DeLorean time machine from Back, Back to the Future. Back to the Future. Yes, amazing. That's what he I do. I, I that's I, I'm not in radio. I rent the DeLorean time machine now for a living. <laughs> that's what I do. <laughs> it's been a fun, it's been great. I'm not complaining. And you're making a film right now. I am. We're doing a documentary. I put a new engine in that car. We mm. tried to. We're trying to become the fastest DeLorean in the world. So I'm a drag. I'm drag racing. It, wow. Which is terrifying. I it's don't want to do it. But I have to. Um, <laughs> you so. have to. I do want to say that um, now 31,000 people have evacuated from the Florida 300? Keys. 31,000. Oh, 31, um, from Florida Keys so far as Irma approaches. And that the governor has warned residents, he said, quote, can't save you after the storm starts. Uh, Key West officials said, leave or you're on your own. Wow. So put down the Rush Limbaugh or whatever if you can. And you're probably not listening to this if you listen to that. But <laughs> yeah. if you know a stupid person and, and you can knock on their door, get out. Take care of yourselves. Yes. Because this is actually, it looks like it's not this, going east. Is yeah, that this is no joke. I don't know. You know, obviously, I don't know. I'm the opposite. If you know a stupid person, <laughs> fare them well. <laughs> this is how we get past this, is let them go. No. <laughs> Adam, Adam. I'm, I'm trying to teach anti- Francis empathy here, and it has not I'm, been going well. Mm-hmm. <laughs> the last thing she needs is another example. God's trying to help us. <laughs> and you don't even, and we you keep know saving you them. that. Yeah. <laughs> and we were just having this conversation uh, before the uh, mics came on about the fact that people are listening to Rush Limbaugh and who's saying, you know, this is this is a hoax. This is their, you know, they're they're uh, forwarding this uh, agenda about climate change by creating panic and fear. When when they went to Noah and said, can we call this a Category Six hurricane? And they said no, because after catastrophic, nothing else matters. There is no six. There is no six. But there, these are people. So we're fighting on all levels about truth and reality. And what did you say, Adam? What, that we were in a post-fact Yes. World? Yeah, yes. I thought you put it very well. Yeah. These people have their own facts now. Yes. You are now, we're now in a, a world where you can program everything you see almost subconsciously. Like when you when you cut off all those Facebook friends that you disagree with, right. what you're doing is, is you're creating an island. Yeah. So you're only going to hear stuff you like and you're only going to see stuff you like. And then you have people that are purposely making confirmation bias news. Yes. yes. Knowing it'll get shared. Yeah, it's exactly. It's all fake. We knew this when we were talking uh, about Obama, right? Mm-hmm. We, we would sit there and argue with people about Obama, and they would say, well, he's raising the deficit every year. And you'd go, no, it's no, actually it's, gone down. Yeah. Well, I will agree to disagree. Right. That's, that's always been the Republicans. That's what happens under that's them. That's not 
A fact. And then cut to, we found out yesterday that the Russian firm, a Russian firm yep. tied to pro-Kremlin propaganda advertised on Facebook during the election. What we're, They're talking around the fact of, now they're trying to, they're going to need to investigate whether this $100,000 worth of ads that was targeted towards voters, a certain select group of voters, how did they, who did they talk to and how did they how figure did they out exactly where, how, exactly where to do it? Because what they're saying is, and, and here's the thing that Americans, and this is like American bravado, we don't think that we could be hacked. We don't think that our minds are malleable enough, you know, I'm, you know and that we think we're so smart that, that this couldn't happen to us, you know, on the left and right. We also think it on the left, too. Well, I mean, I don't want to get into this with you, but of course, the, uh, rigged primary. Yeah. Um, I, you I know, just don't see the point. I mean, but, I, but my point is, is that I, I have argued with the Bernie supporters mm -hmm. repeatedly about you can't really rig your own selection process. It wasn't an election. Of course, the Democrats wanted the Democrat to win. That's not a rigging, you know. Mm -hmm. yeah. it's, it's it's your party. It's, I yeah. yeah. I just I feel like we get stuck in the, we're like we're getting stuck in that conversation, and it's so, what you're talking so. about because we're not going to. There's no agreement, right? Here. Right. It clearly doesn't matter what piece of information is put in front of any of us mm -hmm. on this issue. It's we've tied it to who we are, yeah, and that's where we are. But what I know, we all know, is that this is not what we want. No, <laughs> the no. Trump situation. We have got to we have got to stay focused on that. Yes, yes. I yes. mean, here we are, Adam. I want to hear your thoughts on this. Dennis Rodman mm -hmm. now appears to be our best diplomatic hope, hope for avoiding nuclear conflict with North Korea. How do you feel about Dennis Rodman offering? That's exactly the only person who should be talking. <laughs> and, and, and North Korea has done this forever. Yeah. yeah. This is a joke. They're not going to do anything because it would be their immediate erasure from the planet. Yeah, but They're you know They're not what? going to do it. But when you got somebody who is rough riding, uh, I mean, I think, you know, if I had an image of, sh of, of Trump, he'd be like, I had a lasso around a, sh a shark. Riding it through the streets of right. Washington, like that. I mean, it, this is how that's how kooky. Sure, and they're oh, both yes. kooky. He's yes. kooky, which is such a nice way of putting psychotic and crazy. Yes. That's the scary thing about it, right? Yes. They go, they they might. I think that is why, because I, I agree with you. Normally, I'm up. I thought they just want attention. North Korea just wants attention. They want to be. They want everybody to treat them like they're afraid of them. That's what this is about. But I think if I were Kim Jong Un, this might be the exact time I would think I could get away with marching into South Korea, maybe. Yeah. Like so, I do think there's a danger. I think you're. I don't know about full scale war, but we've got two people who are at the same level of crazy. And when I find myself saying. Dennis, yeah, we should send Dennis Rodman. That scares me, Adam. Yes. <laughs> That's what's why, going on. The fact that we're even talking like this is normal. If ten so, years, I, I'm if ten years ago, I told you Flavor Flav would be the president. <laughs> Like, you know what, right? And you, you like, got kids now. You got to stop doing those drugs. Right, but you, our, our issue wouldn't be with Flavor Flav. It'd be like, oh, the electorate somehow. Yeah. Sixty-three million people thought Donald yeah. Trump was a good idea. Yeah. That tells us where we are. It's not getting better. Yeah. It facts don't matter anymore. I fact, you did walk in here. Anna walked in here with, with uh, after Catherine Fouge left and said, whatever that is, whatever she is. I'm feeling the opposite. I'm the opposite. I, I wish you would have ended on her. I feel awful. You're going to be so sad when you leave it. Let's talk to Jenny and uh, Reno. Gina, G Jenny, you're on the Stephanie Miller Show. Good morning, ladies. Good, Good morning. morning. Oh, my goodness. You guys have just been so inspirational this week. Oh, thank you. Yes. And I just can't thank you enough for taking us through this week, which has just been a nightmare. It's been a nightmare. It's been a nightmare um, from which we heard. Oh my goodness. I'm really inspired to really start to find my story. Yes, girl. And share it. And share it with everybody. Because, yeah, you know what you have to thank you, Jenny. What you have to say, uh, who you are, is important. And, you know, and, and I believe that a lot of people, we've created uh, this cu a culture in which. People feel like if I'm not famous, mm -hmm. if I'm not this, if I'm not that, then my voice doesn't matter, you know, or I have nothing to say. You know, there's so many, so many people out there who feel like I have nothing to say. You have plenty to say, you know. 
What do you got to say about that, Adam? Dude, I'm trying to be cool, man. <laughs> if you guys <laughs> you are going to be doing... inspirational, I'll <laughs> just right. shut up. You'll do you. I'm going to do you. Because you're the next I Because they're out there. There are people who feel like exactly like you feel who are listening. So you go ahead. Don't worry about that. We will we will back it up with some something. I think it's because I've I found so much peace this year. Did you? Honestly. I knew that. Tell us about it. Yeah, we By letting go of hope. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not trying to be funny. Oh my god! Like, I cannot wait to type that. No, it's true. I found so much peace. <laughs> How? True. By letting go of hope. Because <laughs> hope requires you to to believe in others. Mm-hmm. Honestly. Mm-hmm. And this country let me down. <laughs> I, I mean, I, I get it. Yes, it was very close, and more people voted for Hillary. Black, right, but right. He, should, he shouldn't have been the candidate. Yeah, right. that, that, you're right. I'm that, with that, you. That, that, that I'm started with you. It, yeah. This is in. Sarah Palin should not have been picked to be vice president. Uh, that's right. Okay, Ooh. ever. Ooh. Ever. The 2012 Republican primary. I remember mm-hmm. going, what the hell is Herman Cain? Yeah. What, what, what's happening? And yeah. then <laughs> there, there's, 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 again, the facts don't matter anymore. Yeah. So I let go, and suddenly I had a lot more fun. Every day has been really fun. I'm playing <laughs> video games with my kids. I got a mini golf course. In my backyard. Yeah. Like I, 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 you, you have a DeLorean. Yeah. The idea yes. the idea that we are somehow going to be this progressive Star Trek all races, no. <laughs> it's not going to happen. <laughs> and accepting that was, that made me happy and go, oh, okay. okay. I, I need to make. That makes sense because you turned that into how to refocus your life on the things you that, that actually, actually matter, and then you can actually do something about it and, directly. Right. And I, you're not less engaged either. No, no not at all. Not I mean, all. I have to admit, I'm, I'm partially engaged because it's a train wreck, mm-hmm. and yeah. I've studied politics for so long. Mm-hmm. I want to see if our Constitution can figure this one out. I'm right. just curious. Right. right. This is yeah. the easiest impeachment in the history of our. Nation, right? right yes. Like it's so stupid. The second he put his hand up, yeah, it was he, over. He, he should have been impeached. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I, I'll be yeah. honest. Do you remember when the when the military men came down with the with the umbrellas? Mm-hmm. I thought they were coming down to take him away. <laughs> my stomach. <laughs> I thought. I went. Oh my God! It's happening right now. <laughs> They're dragging him off. Yeah. Uh, so that's what I, I'm curious to see how this all ends. Right. I do think it's all over. It mm. doesn't matter. Like yesterday, somebody called in and he was making a joke, and he started the joke by saying, uh, "By the way, I don't know if you guys have heard, but uh, Je- B- Jeff Beauregard Sessions has just quit. He's just quit being Attorney General." And for half a second, my heart almost flew. Right. And then I went, that can't possibly be true. And then he was did the joke. And but we got all these tweets from people like, is that true? Is that true? Is it? I'm like, you guys, and it was a joke. It's, it's a joke. It's it's a, a but you joke. think for a minute it's what I want to hear. Yeah. Well, every day we wake up, mm. we open our phone and think, <laughs> please, please. Today. Any, but anything please. could happen. Yeah. I mean, that's what I'll remember about this year mm-hmm. more yes. than any year. I mean anything could happen. If they said the nukes were push, mm-hmm. I'd go, yep. Yeah. I mean, nothing would surprise me. Mm-hmm. Literally, nothing would surprise me. Nothing would surprise you. So hard. <laughs> the number here is three two three four six eight eleven thirty five. 468 1135. We'll be back to take your phone calls right here on The Stephanie Miller Show. That killed me, Adam. That is hysterical. I just put it up. It's. <laughs> Dude, I, it started with Obama. Like the first couple of years of arguing with people about Obama about stuff that didn't happen. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I quit my job. I went to D.C. I, I protested the war after Katrina. I wrote the songs. I did the Let's Bomb Iran cartoon. Mm-hmm. Got on my MSNBC. I was so active, but it was about shit that was actually happening. <laughs> and then, and then you're arguing with Obama and it's stuff that never happened. Yeah. And how do you argue that? And when you think about this, is my, uh, my fear is. Not right now. My fear is 20 years from Yeah, or 20. We're here. It's oh, now. I know it's now. I mean... <laughs> but I think the real bad times are 20 years from now. But I guess. To, but all the days in between are really terrifying Those to me. are awful, too. <laughs> but I believe... I agree with you. We're in... A, a, we, this is this is the... the but you think... Wrong. You really think it's growing pains? Like, I... Uh, I think that's a lot for a lot of people. There, a lot of people have been pulled into this whether they wanted to or not. I think a lot of people were those people who were like, we just let Uncle Joe be racist. We just let this be. You know, I just try to keep everything quiet at Thanksgiving. I don't want to fight with anybody. I wanted to be able... And a lot of people, a lot of people have turned a corner on that shit. 
But again, <laughs> once you turn the corner and you start talking, <laughs> the problem is is that their facts are completely different. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Listen, you didn't have to used to be a scientist or a political scientist to understand the world. Stupid people could get along by turning the news on yeah. and getting informed. Right. Mm -hmm. Now they can't. Right. So you because turn it on they, Tribune? Yeah, their news now tells them something that isn't true. Yeah. And then when you tell them the truth, they go, oh, well, that's your bias. Yeah. Like, no, yeah, it's a no. fact. <laughs> no, Jesus these Christ. Are facts. The earth is round. Yeah, that is. It is. Stephanie Miller. Prepare to be knocked on your ass. Welcome back to the Stephanie Miller Show. I'm Francis Callier. I'm Angela V. Shelton. And we are Frangela, and we're joined in the studio by the incredible Adam Contras. Hello. Hello. I also wanted to just re-talk uh, about Trump signing with the Democrats in, de in debt limit funding Harvey deal. You oh. can't even do that, right? Oh, my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> right? And here's the thing. I want everybody to stop talking about it, okay? Even though I'm talking about it right now, I want everybody to stop talking about it because I don't right want Right after this. Right. Right after this, <laughs> nobody bring it up again because I don't want him to get the, the hit that people are making fun of him or it seems like the Democrats got over or got something out of him or anything because I do not want him to change his mind. Well, but it wasn't even a policy thing that no. he did. It was a political mistake. Absolutely. He I actually made a mistake. I know. He's good at that. Yeah. <laughs> He's not listening to this. I, I, I just, I just, <laughs> He's not listening to this show. You know, <laughs> he didn't really cut a deal. He screwed the... GOP. Basically, literally nothing's going to happen now. Yeah. 2017. Yeah. Way to go. Yeah. An entire year with zero percent accomplishments. <laughs> I don't actually, I have to say, for me, it's comforting. Because I feel like if they accomplish something, I don't know what that... You know what I mean? Like, you I don't just, know what that's going to look like. Yeah. And like... Just, just you know, let's t try to take care of the, the, the relief, yes. you know, yes. and, but, and get ready for these elections. But this goes right back to the facts thing. If you talk about health care not being passed, mm -hmm. you know what Trump supporters think? Hmm. McCain kept them from getting to 60. Right. Not that it was a bad deal. Right. And not that it was going to take away their health care. Did you even miss the 60? No, that wasn't they didn't they need needed 60. 60. They didn't need, they didn't need 51. No. I, I am trying to figure out how they keep acting like, because if this, when the, when the Democrats in the past have been called, they couldn't get their, couldn't get it together, couldn't get the votes, the Democrats are totally disorganized, you know, and that's why they lost in the midterms. But here we are, they have the majority in both the con you know, in the House and the Senate. They have the majority. They ostensibly control now the Supreme Court and clearly the executive, uh, you can't get anything done. Right, yeah. right. But he tweeted Obama that. got stuff done when he didn't have anybody yeah. supporting yeah. him. He tweeted the filibuster rules and that's why they think it mm -hmm. ends, but that's not the facts. That's not the facts. So no. It's no. not the facts. Uh, Adam, I think this phone call might be for you. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Uh, <laughs> Brock, you're on the Stephanie Miller Show. What did you have to say? Oh. Hey, how, how's it going? I, just, I like the uh, I like the comment a lot about being just being happier when you give up hope. I thought that was I thought that was that was pretty funny. I've definitely gone through that a lot, and I just I, I think it's really funny after almost almost a year now, um, we're still talking about it. We're still here. I just imagine you would have given up hope by now because Donald Trump's not going away mm -hmm. until the end of his term. He might. He's not. Right. I actually do think he might go away. He's a better president. <laughs> and impeach, we're just going to have Pence in there. So regardless, we're, we're, we got we got Trump in here, and there's not really a lot that a radio personality or Antifa or anybody can do about it. So why not just... I think a lot of people would disagree with you. Right. Right. The founding oh, fathers. Oh, if I made the founding fathers are revolutionaries, that's why you have a country where you're allowed to say things. Mm -hmm. um, and what they're about? also slave owners. But yeah. I, I not only is I find it so interesting because, believe it or not, in the Constitution are the means to withdraw this president. Yes. Right. And also the whole idea <laughs> so, that, oh, Pence would be worse. Got I can't. I, yeah. can't I, I can't with that. I can't with that. Yeah. And in the history books, it has to say that we got rid of Trump. Like yeah, that, I mean, that has it, it, to happen. It, of course. It was, yeah. It's the easiest impeachment in the history of presidents. <laughs> yes. So if we can't pull that off, yes. Like, yes. It, come on. I think people, you know, I, I, one of the things that bothers me is that people forget how young this country is. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, and that comparatively, we, you know, we grew up with this idea, America's great, and we don't have the understanding of what a short history we have um, compared to all of these other world powers. Yeah. Uh, and, and, and why why we became a world, world power from genocide, mm -hmm. from both Native Americans and slavery, yeah. um, and then staying out of world wars as long as possible. Um, and, like, the... 
we look back at our own history and it is it, what I do know is anything is possible. Mm -hmm. That that document, the Constitution, was written with the concept of amendments. Yes. You know, that you can change it. It is a living, breathing document. I think to suggest that you can see the future, then you should have warned us about these hurricanes, Brock. Yeah. I feel really like that was wrong of you. Yes, it um, was. And people are going to fight. The one thing that's true in human history, the one thing that's true, is that as long as there's been wrong, there have been people fighting it. There has never been a time when there has been slavery where there have not been abolitionists. Mm -hmm. Never in human history have we stood by forever and allowed evil to continue. That, Brock, you can put in your pipe and smoke it. Ah, oh, you can smoke it. I said it. You can That's smoke it. I wanted to, but the way the FCC is. Yes, <laughs> yes, yes. Let's talk to Billy in Oregon. Billy, you're on the Stephanie Miller Show. Hi, Francis. Hi, Angela. Hi, Adam. Hi. Hey, uh, I got a question for y'all. Um, now, with all the uh, the movements to remove, like, the Civil War, memorabilia, and the mm -hmm. statues, and the symbols, and everything, now, being a truck driver, every time you enter into a state, do they have a bill signed that says, Ohio welcomes you, or sometimes they have their state motto, like mm -hmm. in New Jersey, it says, you know, New Jersey is hard to state. Well, when you enter Tennessee, they have their state motto, and their state motto is Tennessee, the volunteer state. Mm. The volunteer state is a clear reference to the fact that they volunteered to join the South to help defend slavery. So do y'all think they should have to change their... I know nothing about I, that. I don't I've know that. that. I don't I know. Have that that. I have to look at that. Yeah. Thank you for. I don't yeah. you know what I have to look that up because yeah. I, I don't know. Um, yeah. All three of us, man. Yeah, I've never. I mean, I'm, I'm going to be honest. I don't know a lot about Tennessee. No. Um, I, I don't think. Have we been there? Yeah, uh, we've been to Tennessee. Like at least the airport. Yeah. yeah. I like the self awareness now that we're going. Oh, I'm yeah, kind of yeah. weird. We have monuments to right. losing. That's yeah. Great. Yeah, and to, or, to terrorists. I'm like from, <laughs> I'm from Columbus, Ohio. Right. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, it is kind of odd that we named our city mm -hmm. after that dude. Like, <laughs> right. and, and, you know, and not we're not celebrating Columbus Day. Right? Don't think you should. It, yes. it kinda, it, he thought it was. India. It's called growth yeah. and change. Oops. Yes, right? you know, yeah. it's called developing and growth yeah. and change and evolving and learning. Let's talk to Nina in Wisconsin. Nina, you're on the Stephanie Miller show. Well, hi. Hi. I am so glad to talk to you guys. You're such an inspiration. Oh, thank you. Okay. I used to say that I am an escapee from racism from the South. Mm -hmm. I, as I got older, I realized it's everywhere. It is. How do we fight it? And I, at this point, I'm used taking up somebody else's comment. If not me, then who? Right. Yeah. What do I do as an old lady at 75 years old? I think you are doing it. Here's the thing. You know, you didn't escape. You, you saw, I think when, even when you were down there, the reality is, is that you saw things differently, and being informed, and what you what you've learned is it doesn't matter where you are. You know, you're different, and I think that being, you know, knowing what you know, believing what you believe, and sharing that. Going back to what Catherine was talking about, you know she what I has mean? Hope, right? Yes. She has the hope, Adam. Yeah, Adam, Adam, this is what hope looks like. Yeah, I'm hearing it. I remember um, it. This, this is what, look, <laughs> but you know, but I think that you know, sharing it and and talking to people, and I think you know. Just even making this phone call, you are an example to other people. Because you call. Thank you. Quote, the Malcolm X quote about the the Mason Dixon line is basically Canada. Like, mm -hmm. it, 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 <laughs> like the South is anything South of yeah. that. But I can't. I'm I'm mangling it. Yeah. But that is the South of Canada is South. I think it's something like that. Yeah. Well, I think you, are we talking about hope. If we had a real civil war, if the South did secede now, mm -hmm. I'd have hope again. If yeah. there was a place they could all go, <laughs> no, I would have no problem with that. I'm going to miss New Orleans. I, I, they will stay. They I'll go visit. Stay. The, listen, the tourist places will take our money. Well, you think so? Right. Yeah. I'm going to miss. I'm going to miss some other parts. Well, we may not be able to go. We yeah. may not be able to go. <laughs> we may not be able to go. <laughs> you bring me back a praline, okay, right, right, right. and a hurricane. <laughs> what I'm saying is that it, there's a divide that isn't going to be conquered. Yes. So right. Yes. Let's just say. Listen, nobody will be happier than both of them, <laughs> right? The <laughs> people in the South will be happy. We'll be happy. I don't we're think never so. going to agree to disagree about civil rights and equality. Like that's just not. I I hear what you're saying, but there's and there are. I I know that there are people on every, at every kind of issue that are beyond you know intractable. It's just not going to happen. Sixty-three million people thought he was a legitimate leader. Yeah, yeah. That's, just, that's yeah. more people than more people voted for him other than Hillary and Obama. Mm -hmm. He got the most votes ever. That's right. Well, it, it, you know, but we have to remember how many of the people didn't vote at all. And that goes to the people that <laughs> I look through. I know I want to look at those. That's where I'm like, these people, we got to figure out where y'all stand. We got to get you out. I'm mm -hmm. going to shut up. Your hope is going to keep us moving forward. <laughs> I'm 
think I, I hear that whiskey. all I have, hope and lasagna. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back to the Stephanie Miller Show. I'm Francis Callier. I'm Angela B. Shelton of the Detroit Shelton. Yes, and we're joined in the studio by the incredible Adam Contras. Adam, how can we follow you? Uh, Adam Contras on Facebook. Yes. That's probably the best way. I, I don't tweet. Rent the DeLorean. Yes. Oh, yeah. Oh, if you want, yeah, if, you, if, if this is Pimpin' Hour, yes. rent the DeLorean.com. Mm hmm always pimping hour. It is pimping it's always hour, pimping right? hour. I was going to say, that was George Michael, right? Yes. yes. Poor, poor man died in 2016. We had I all, know. Did you ever think of the 2016 deaths? And go, I know. Well, they got off the They, they, got they off. knew. They, they got they, off. They, they, they I miss it. them, yes. but I'm glad they didn't see this. No. I thought that every death of I know. Oh, they don't have to see what's coming. Mm -hmm. But I miss, it's hard. I love George Michael. That, yeah. You know, one of the things that Adam and I on Facebook go back and forth about is the flat earthers and Adam uh, researches them and argues. It, it he is like Don Juan spitting at uh, windmills. <laughs> no, I try, I'm not. I'm not arguing with him. Every once in a while, I just can't stand it. Yeah. You know, like I, it, I, I got I got uh, banned from one of the, the the groups because I said <laughs> you guys just need to take like a technical drawing class. <laughs> Like your scale, <laughs> you just don't understand scale. Like this is very simple stuff. I'm boom banned right away. I'm like ah shoot. I love what you just said. That there's more information. This is this is what I'm gonna leave you guys with. Mm -hmm. <laughs> this is how we're gonna end it. Called there a hopeless is, bomb. Right, there is more proof online of a flatter than a rounder. Wow. This is the future. It is over. <laughs> it's done. And, and it's not just the religious people, okay? I right? I, I, it's this conspiracy theory mind that doesn't want to be tricked by NASA. Mm -hmm. And there's more. If you're a kid and you're trying to process all this information, right. there's a hell of a lot more. There's a reason Kyrie Irving thinks the world's flat. Right, <laughs> right. It's because there's more information that... Nice. I mean, I think on. we've okay. We've let it go. We have not put up a lot of information because we thought we took care of it. As, as Tony pointed out in the break with like Archimedes, <laughs> so I apparently we need to we need to circle back on some of that intro information. <laughs> right, right, right. Oh, I have to throw this out too. Uh, Tennessee is known as the Volunteer State. Nickname originated from uh, during the War of eighteen twelve, when which Just the Volunteer British Soldiers, yeah. yeah, from Tennessee, serving under Andrew General Andrew Jackson, displayed marked valor in the Battle of New Orleans. Right, but if you want to believe it's something else, where did you get that information? <laughs> I got right. it from on, on the Googles. Oh well, I mean that's your opinion. Yeah, yeah, exactly. It's, it's, facts don't matter. Yeah. I am, Adam, I believe that you have hope in you. I, I believe, do. I believe, I believe in you. Dude, it's okay. I'm happy. I'm very happy. <laughs> you don't have to worry about me. I don't me. know why it's so funny to me. <laughs> it's really funny. I'm telling you. But, but I think that, that it is over, it is done. It's hysterical. <laughs> no, it's not. Meant Talk to, to me be. in a year. I'll come I back know. in a year of you and you'll be like, oh, wow, you, you had that. Idea. You were right. That time machine works that you have, doesn't it? It does. That's why, yeah. I'm, I'm sure that must give you some kind of perspective riding around in a time machine. It's funny because I got interviewed uh, for a documentary on Back in Time. Mm -hmm. uh, it's on Netflix. Anybody Back in Time? Yeah. Um, and they asked, if you had a time machine and really worked, would you go to? Where would you go? And I said, we are going to go to the future 500 years, see how we kill ourselves, right? Because mm. I just assume we're all going to kill ourselves. No. Oh, nope. It no, happened no, that no, year. No. This is the Stephanie Miller Show. Join us tomorrow. Thank you, Thank you for listening. Wait, oh, none of my sound bites. Oh, I know. Yes. I know. I know. I'll work on all those sound bites. Look at that. I had so many plays. I was like, one, three, five. Oh, no. yeah. I mean, I no, it wasn't happening. Save me for tomorrow. I could have gone to sleep. Oh, these will these will these will work. These will work. <laughs> See? You'll be all right, man. No, I've done your job. I've done all these jobs before. That would piss me off. I, you worked hard on that shit. <laughs> <Not really. laughs>